the juvenile Phillies turf is first. Can they beat Happily? Uh, yeah, I think they can beat Happily. I think there's two standouts in this race, uh, Brian. Uh, um, I certainly like Happily, but on top I have uh, Rushing Fall for uh, Chad Brown, uh, who has been ultra impressive uh, in uh, in her first two starts. Chad Brown kind of in a short amount of time owns this juvenile Philly turf race. He's won it three times. Of course, he won it with Lady Eli. He won it with New Money Honey last year and his very, very first career Breeders' Cup win in his first start was in this race with Moram a few years ago. Yeah, she was a nice filly, lightly raced filly. I remember her well, Matt, and that is the kind of good information you get right here on Horse Center. I'm with you on Rushing Fall. Of course, she came uh, out to my neck of the woods, and uh, she looked really, really impressive. The Jessamine, I thought, was the best two-year-old filly turf race of the year in America. So Rushing Fall is actually my top pick in here, Matt. Now, happily has uh, been taking names in Europe and just looking possibly like the best two-year-old in all of Europe, male or female. So if Happily uh, continues her form, she certainly uh, will take some beating in here. Happily, uh, an Aiden O'Brien filly who's, who's won a bunch of stakes already in Europe, Group 1 stakes. I do see, though, a lot of wet turf courses that she's run at, so it's going to be different for her in a lot of ways. Obviously, she's going almost halfway across the world to get to California, and then she's going to find a much firmer turf course and, and a little bit tighter turns than she's used to. So I'm kind of hoping that the Americans uh, can have their way in the juvenile Phillies turf map. Another one I like, not surprisingly significant form, who, uh, like Rushing Fall, is uh, short on experience but has looked good to me. Yep, uh, that's another Chad Brown, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Brian. Um, <clears throat> happily is uh, Aiden O'Brien and Ryan Moore. They could have a really big day, really big weekend in the Breeders' Cup this year. Yeah, Aiden O'Brien uh, often comes with a lot of good ones, and this year is no different. Matt, we both have wagers uh, that start in the very first Breeders' Cup race, so I'm going to go over mine real quick, and then you can go over yours. I think we're both uh, jumping into that pick four that includes all four Breeders' Cup races on Friday. So the juvenile Phillies turf starts it off, and uh, it's kind of uh, going to show who I like the rest of the day, but let's do it. Mine is a small one. It's just a 50-cent uh, ticket in the, starting off in the juvenile Phillies turf. I'm going to use my top three in the juvenile Phillies turf. That's rushing fall, significant form, brown, brown. And, uh, of course, Happily, uh, again, I'm hoping that Happily is the favorite and the beaten favorite, but I couldn't throw her off this ticket. Then my uh, two horses with some odds that both want to rally, and I think we're on the same page in the Dirt Mile, so I'm using Awesome Slew and Practical Joke, just two in the Dirt Mile, hoping for some odds there. And then the Juvenile Turf, I'm going to go with my top three. Again, I'm going to really try to beat the Euros in here, although there are a bunch of interesting Euros but I, I think the Americans have a real shot in the juvenile turf. Snapper Sinclair, I expect to have some odds. Uh, Catholic Boy, uh, another Chad Brown, I believe. An untamed domain, the rallying son of Animal Kingdom. So I'll use three in the juvenile turf. And then in the distaff, I'm going to go older, older. My top two, Stellar, one, Stellar Wind is number one. Forever Bridled is number two. So that completes my 50 cent pick four. Uh, all four races on Friday for $18 total. What's yours, Matt? Uh, mine is certainly similar, Brian. Um, uh, I'm going to use uh, Rushing Fall and Happily to start out this pick, uh, pick six. Then I'm going to use those same two horses, uh, uh, and we're going to talk about uh, Dirt Mile more in a minute, so folks, we'll get to that, <clears throat> with Awesome Slew and Practical Joke. And Interestingly, and when we get down to the juvenile turf, folks, you're going to see that Brian and I have six different horses picked. And because of that, I think that's a wide open race. I'm going to hit the all button there, Brian, and hope for a big, big payout there. And then put them with, I'm going to put three horses in the distaff. I'm going to use Elate Forever Unbridled 
and stellar win. So my ticket's a little bit bigger there because I'm hitting the all button.